for Change, a program in Manhattan is helping low-income and homeless New Yorkers enter the culinary world. Many who end up in the city's top restaurants after going through that program. Michael Scotto's heating things up in the kitchen, getting a crash course of the program while he's at it. What have you learned so far, Michael? Well, I've learned that this is a really good program. I'm not cooking today, uh, but they are already cooking in here, and it smells pretty good. They're making some chocolate chip cookies, some sugar cookies, some peanut butter cookies. Maybe I'll bring some back after the show. But as you said, this program, it's really beneficial to formerly homeless New Yorkers who are looking to get jobs in the cooking industry. Okay, that's it. No more sprinkling. 29-year-old Portia Hilson recently moved into an apartment with her daughter and son after more than a year of living in the city's shelter system. Now she's studying to be a chef, a longtime dream she'd never thought she'd achieve. I would say last year I wouldn't even think that I was going to even make the kind of moves that I'm making this year. Hilson says for years she's been dealing with anxiety and depression, illnesses she says that have at times made it difficult for her to go out. But less than a month ago, she enrolled in a culinary arts training program through Project Renewal, a nonprofit group that helps the homeless get back on their feet. Go nice and around. The free six-month program trains those in need in the basics of food theory and cooking. There have always been jobs in the food service industry, now more than ever. Uh, so uh, the program was created uh, so that we could train people uh, into jobs that don't have some of the barriers that a lot of jobs have in the city. Let me see if I can get like a better point. Tiffany Williams has been training to be a chef for four months. Recently, she started interning at Cook Shop, an acclaimed Chelsea restaurant. She says she always wanted to cook professionally, but never had the money to pay for culinary school. I can't afford any of these high-end schools. I can't afford to, I can't, I can't do it. So this is like my only option. Both Williams and Hilson hope to get full-time work once the program ends. They say the classes have not only helped them to develop careers, but have shown their children the importance of hard work. My goal is to become the best chef that I can be and actually cook a lot of food for my kids. And something, Annika, like 120 students come through the program uh, every year. And about 80% of the students end up getting jobs uh, right after they graduate. So the, the, the success rate here is pretty high. And, and talk a little bit about what types of jobs that they're getting after they graduate. Are they mostly in restaurants? Yeah, so they're getting some pretty good jobs. We heard from that one student who is interning right now at Cook Shop. There are students who have gone on to work at restaurants like Del Posto, a really high-end acclaimed restaurant also in Chelsea. And a number of other students go on to work in some corporate cafeterias uh, like at places like Morgan Stanley. So they're throughout the industry and throughout the city. Good for them. Great program. Michael, thank you.